hi guys welcome back to my channel boomzy beauty my name is juliana and welcome to the third part of my black friday haul so this third part is going to be about the purchases from us and eu basically every place outside the uk all right so the first 10 brand we're going to be talking about is parmagra all right so i've got seven of our um lipsticks i um, in different formula i believe i've said this in one of my videos before our lipsticks and colourpop Lux lipstick are the only lipstick that lasts on my lips and with the price she was selling them on sales it's possibly cheaper than what it will cost me to get color pops um, especially when they put the ridiculous unfounded customs fees that they put on our purchases now when we try and buy from uk so for me it was cheaper because it was free delivery and there was no customs on it so let's start with the shade i'm wearing which is elsin 2 elsin 2 has always been my favorite but previously i only had it in a mini package you know the little mini uh, lipstick that she does so this time around it was on stock for the full size so i decided to buy it so this is elsin 2 Forbidden love <sighs> gorgeous i mean our formula is just perfect so so perfect for my lips whatever i drink whatever i eat you know there's always a hint that still stays there it doesn't completely disappear and the next one is full blooded i'll try and put what formula these lipsticks are in my description box so check that out this shade is full blooded and this next one is fever dream I mean don't let that color fool you this is beautiful and on dark skin it doesn't look too light at first i thought it was going to be too light as well but i decided to give it a go that even if it was too light i was going to use a darker um lip liner but it's not so light it's absolutely perfect it's a gorgeous peachy shade for dark skin and it will be sweet i mean if it's suitable for dark skin it's going to be suitable for all skin tones all right next one is executive realness again i have this in the mini version i absolutely love it oh such a beautiful fuchsia like pink so that's executive realness next one is guenevi yeah i have this one in the mini version as well they are just so beautiful and then finally obsession this one has eluded me for a whole year i tried to buy this last year black friday um i did buy it but they had to cancel my order because they were out of stock but that's obsession absolutely beautiful so this is more of a red the elsin 2 is more of a red than the obsession obsession is pure orange and um, from what i can see but they are so so beautiful and long lasting and luxurious now do i agree with how much um, they have been sold before sales no i could never ever in a million years buy them at full price but this were a third of what she sells them so it's a no-brainer so i had to get them well these are all the shades i got from pomegranate okay the next brand i hold from is um, odin's eye which is a an eu based brand and they were having 40 percent off then on top of that 40 percent you could stack a discount code on top of it so basically they were having 50 percent sale <laughs> so let's start with the brush set i got from them so this came in a in this gorgeous um case it came in this even though it's only well six it's only six so it's kind of very little so i'm going to be able to use it for other brushes but this is the brushes they are gorgeous they're like pink um, i've never seen a pink um kind of hair brush but they are beautiful i almost don't want to use them and i'm going to avoid using them for a long time <laughs> until i have to so the brush came as a deal with some of their palettes and um, which came in this um, packaging so if you bought that um, set this is what you get and inside that packaging is this beautiful bag i believe well, there was another color as well by the time i got there it was sold out so i could only get this pink <laughs> but it was better than nothing even though the set was already reduced the sales still applied on the reduced amount so he was just a beautiful good sale so it was just an absolutely too good to be true sale honestly they they did good all right in the set came this three palettes so you've got chapter one tears of freya palette uh chapter two cut with golden carriage and then this double-sided um palette called freya saga palette i believe this is possibly um how the freya series started 
so it's double sided so this is one side and then this is the other side it's absolutely gorgeous story i mean i got um the collaboration that came out with telia this year if you've been on this channel you know i got that channel. i did two videos on those same palettes and their formula just surprised me i was really surprised that i i had to try them out with the previous um release that they already have on their website and this is chapter one cheers of freya Again, I'm planning to do a dedicated video on this um, palette um, from Odin's Eye. So I don't want to spend too much time on them um, showing you or swatching it today. This is chapter 2, Cat with Golden Carriage. I think at the back he also says Cat, Cat Breath Palette. Oh, I don't know, whichever, whatever the name is. But when I do a dedicated video, um, we'll dig deeper into this um, palette. But I'm just happy that I got them on a 50% off. So alongside the set, I did get this highlighter. I've always been curious about this highlighter. I don't know what it's going to look like on me. Um, but the worst case scenario is um, I use it as an inner corner highlight. So it won't be the end of the world. But that's what that swatch is like. I mean, bear in mind, I've got staining on the back of my hand. But it's just beautiful. <laughs> so I decided to get it. And then I also got two of their, is it five pan palettes? These are the only two that spoke to me. The, the others I didn't really like. Um, this one is the uh, Alva 2. Yeah, it's kind of Alva 2. So that's the name of the um, palette. And these are the shades inside. So the middle one is like a um, split color. So basically you have six shades really, even though they are five pans. Yeah, this one definitely caught my high. And I've had my look. I've had my high, yeah. On this palette for a while in fact i've had my eye on the brand for a long time but when you don't know much about a brand i didn't want to take my chances plus they do too much pr they give prs to everybody that makes me question you know the quality of the palette and it wasn't about quality perhaps they were just trying to break into the beauty community but the amount of pr they do give it just it put me off so i thought they were like rubbish formula so i never gave them a thought until they collaborated them with the three influencers and that was when i decided to give them a try uh but i mean after trying those three palettes <laughs> i know that their, their formula is very very good both shimmers and uh, mattes okay and this is the herd palette mini palettes it says herd u-r-d for oh, this is gorgeous i don't know if you can see this clearly it's like got this nice beautiful grungy like green with a shimmer to match oh, absolutely beautiful it's such a perfect um color story even though there are six shades in there so so beautiful plus even the the packaging is quite um it's slightly mysterious it's always caught my eye so those were the only two that um i bought from odin's eye i think they have Possibly about five of them. But I only got two of the five band palettes. Okay, let's talk about their big palette. So I got three of those. So I got Alva. Alva, that's just the name. And this is what Alva looks like. So it's mainly like a pinky mauve kind of um, color story. But they are so pretty. I wish you could see these shimmers in person. Honestly, they are beautiful. And to have this column there mixed with the pinks absolutely beautiful you need to see the palette you know in physical sense to appreciate you know this palette such, such a gorgeous palette and then i got the nuns one the nuns one is always always caught my high <sighs> look how gorgeous this palette is so so beautiful and the metallics oh, they are so beautiful so especially this all the bottom um, colors here, they are metallics and this green. Oh, I can't wait to do a dedicated video on this palette. You know, swatching all the shimmers and just playing with the palettes in general. They are so, 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 so beautiful. And then finally, the Alva 2 palette. So it looks like they like to do some sort of series on their palette. So you've got a lot of part one, part two kind of palettes. So this is the Alva 2. Again, look at the beautiful color story. So, so beautiful. And if the formula of the mattes and shimmers are like what I, um, I used in the, the influencers palette, oh, I'll be so, so happy. This is a beautiful color story. And before before the Black Friday came, because they did publicize the 40% sale and the fact that you could use an influencer's code, I had them gone on their website and just, apart from the ones I had my eye on, just had a look at other ones as well that I would want to buy on the Black Friday, you know, so I don't make a wrong purchase. But um, they are, I'm not, I don't regret anyone I picked out. 
they are so beautiful i've tried and stopped myself from swatching it in fact i actually wanted to use one of the palette today but another of the palettes i'll be showing you swayed me so i decided to go for that one instead all right in addition to palettes from odin's i also got lipsticks um lipsticks are not something i purchase all the time but i can count the amount of lipstick that i actually own i'm not a lipstick fan you know if i have a good one i have a good one and i stick to that all right this one is going to be difficult to read <laughs> okay i think this one is red cherry if it's any different then i'll put it on the screen so that's red cherry and this is fig jam so f-i-g jam like um, some sort of flavor of jam jam and butter so that's fig jam i haven't tried any other lipsticks so i can't tell you how long they last but if they last um, nearly enough as the pomegranate i'll be so so happy so this is the third one and it's called brown rose so this one is um a little bit more moisturizing than these two these two are completely matte and this has got a little bit of um gloss i want to say in it so as you can see it's very shiny that's brown rose so and i think that's everything i got from odin's eye okay before we move to the us well there's one more brand from the eu and that's um sigil inspired um tammy tanuka i've already got videos on tammy tanuka on my um channel here this is like the i believe this is my first purchase from her so she was having a sale i've never seen her have a sale before so i was super excited but this time around what i did is i concentrated on buying the chromatic um kind of shade so they are like the basically to me as far as i'm concerned those are the best kind of formula that she has they don't flake there's no fallout they are just so silky and they glide on the high so for me that's our best formula but they are the most expensive you know amongst our prizes i don't know if you can see those are the shades at all i haven't um opened them or labeled them in english they are still in russia so if you don't know sigil inspired is a russia based brand but i got 15 in total and these are four of them so i would normally what i do is before i check out i copy all the english names um, onto words and then when i'm before i press them i stick the names on the on the containers and after pressing i transfer the english name so i haven't done that yet so even if i swatch <laughs> there's no way i can tell you what the shades are i'm going to do a dedicated um, video swatching them once i press them but these are the shades they are just so beautiful so yeah i did um get some things from tammy tanuka which i'm so happy about because all of these are like everything i love i didn't kind of like sacrifice in terms of prices because in the past because of how expensive some shades are i go for the less expensive one but with the sale ugh, i was just able to get what i wanted anyway those are all the uk eu purchases everything is all been swatched now let's move to the us okay starting from pimby and um, pimby is playing in makeup by yolando so i got well, six palettes from her this first one is the serenity palette um it's a collaboration with brits k beauty um i believe i mean i don't know her and i don't follow her but this palette is gorgeous so this is the inside of the palette and it's one of the palettes i have on my eye the only thing i don't like about the palette is just this glitter but i mean i do use glitter not as much as probably some other people but um that's the only thing i would change him in this palette throw all this glitter color away but in terms of the color story oh, beautiful i've been wanting to get my hands on this palette but every time she has a sales by the time you get there it's always sold out so i was quite surprised that this was still in stock when i got there i think she had 40 percent off and um so i decided to get this um palette i mean there was another one that i wanted which was out of stock but i suppose it's kind of luck when it comes to her palette and our website is always about look oh yeah this is beautiful so i used three shades from this palette today i used um that green that peachy color and that blue shimmer yeah, and that's the serenity palette um, from plain makeup by yolanda all right i also got two of our formula um series so i already have the green one and the pink one i have the green one and the pink one so i got the burgundy and the purple again this one's they are always sold out i suppose that's just a testament to how good that formula is so this is the pink um, formula one this is called mixy mauves oh, beautiful and gorgeous and then the burgundy which is called burning <laughs> burgundy yeah again this palette i've got like um, one glitter in most of them it's not all of them i don't think my green one had a glitter or in most of them they've got one glitter shade and i'm just gonna swatch um, one shimmer in it so this is the 
how beautiful that is I mean I love red so any variation of reds I always like and that's the shimmer in the burgundy palette okay I also got four of our monochromatic so I got the one called upward unexpected expression and friends and I will show you I will tell you what the name is as I reveal each palette this is upward uh, and the color story in this one is just so beautiful the uniqueness of the green then putting a purple mixed with that kind of um, grayish grungy color and the greens ugh, just beautiful in five shades I mean to have five shades in a palette and they are this beautiful and lovely color story it's really really outstanding so this one is called upward and this is friends again beautiful color story absolutely beautiful and this is expression this this is one of the palettes on my eyes today i actually used this palette yesterday and i saw how beautiful it was with no primer so i decided to use it in my looks today this one i think it is a multi-chrome or dual chrome at least i don't know if you can see the shift is a purple blue shift and it's potty it's a wet like um feeling when you touch it gorgeous that is that's what i have um in my outer corner so that is expression if i'm going to recommend any one of them it's definitely going to be this one is a perfect monochromatic green monochromatic palette so so beautiful i mean the only thing missing is something to really dark in the outer corner but i mean you can find black in most of our palettes but this is beautiful and then finally we have unexpected so this palette is called unexpected and is mainly cool tone so this is definitely outside my comfort zone but i couldn't resist this first three shades i'm gonna swatch them the shimmer for you Actually, gonna swatch two shimmers, so the whitish shade and the blackish shade. So, <laughs> definitely also my comfort zone. I think most likely I'll probably maybe use like um, two shades in it or something, or the shimmers. But I don't know. I don't know if I can be that daring to use the whole palette. Um, yeah, but it is a beautiful palette. I mean, when you think of the individual shades in it, or at least two shades, three shades, you know, used together, for me, I'm comfortable with that here. Yeah. But it is a gorgeous palette. Okay, we're getting there. So from Viziet, I got um, a few palettes, about five, I think. And this is the Soleil, Soleil La Plage, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but that's what it's called. This is not a new palette. This has been out for a while, but... Um, I can only justify it with the price. Yeah, I couldn't really justify it with the original price. So this is what the inside of the palette looks like. And it's quite basic really, but it's just a few shades that kind of got me to get this palette. So there are quite a few unique shades um, to Viziat, like this blue. I've never seen it, this blue in any of their palettes before. And basically this area really are uh, not very common in their uh, in all the other palettes. So that's why I got this. Really this one is one made me got it and because it's wasn't so so i decided to get it i mean i've had my eyes on it but you know at the price they were it's just ridiculous but with the sale yeah i was able to get that and i also got one of their new um quads so this one is called periods this is the inside of periods i wanted to get the red one but one of the shades was just plain it would have been a useless same shade for me so i couldn't really justify it i decided to get the ones i know i can at least use all the four colors so this is periods so beautiful i mean for four shades the color story is beautiful and this is lapis Ugh, that blue <laughs> that blue is what got me that blue is definitely what got me to get this one and it's absolutely gorgeous that blue is so so worth it this is lapis all right this one is not new lila's and um, this one has been out for a while but um again it was on my list i just never got it so with the sale i was able to get it i've always been curious about this the color story it's so beautiful it's a cool tone kind of um, palette but let me just see if i can swatch um, the shimmers on it i just love this tone of i don't know what to call it is it more of a purple Ugh, i just think it's really beautiful it's cool tones but definitely beautiful and the other one i also got is the paris etoile so this is pretty much um, new and this is just unique and gorgeous i mean None of their shades, as far as I know, they've not got a similar color story to this, but even if they have, I don't have it, so this one is definitely going to be unique in my collection. Absolutely beautiful color story. Okay, and then finally I got the Sultry Mousse palette. 
and this is what it looks like it's pretty much <laughs> it's just nude shades but it's quite beautiful I mean the selection of the palettes um, is very very beautiful the way they kind of pick the colors and the way they kind of put it together it is all supposed to be like um shimmery either in form of satin or shimmers there's no matte in this palette at all yeah definitely shimmery some not as shimmery as others but it's just so unique i think um when i think of this palette i don't look at the palette just the palette on its own i look at how it would fit in into my other collection of visits if you like so when i look at it i kind of all i see is nude shades but in combination with what i already have oh, i think it's definitely gorgeous i mean as nude as the palette is there is no color here that i can use i mean the kind of lightest shade is this white which can be used for my inner corner so which is what makes this one different to like a mixed palette that's got mattes that i can use but this is all shimmer so however light i ever dark shimmer is you can always use it in one form of the other so for me yeah definitely worth it okay let's move on to nomad so from nomad i got five palettes so nomad was having 50 percent off as well and if you know me if you've been on this channel for a while you know i love the nomad um, formula so one of the first ones I got is a one one I've had my eye on for a long time, Studio 54. So it's a quad and it's all shimmers. Again, I'm hoping to do a swatch party with this Nomad um, palette um, like I did them when I first um, bought from them. But yeah, this is Studio 54 palette. I also got their latest palette, um, Home for the Holidays, I believe it's called. And this is an all shimmer palette. <sighs> Just look at that. That is absolutely beautiful and gorgeous this one i can't resist i just have to swatch for you and i barely put my finger in these shades barely and that's my swatches so these shades are actually similar to one of the palettes they came out with the shanghai palette that is discontinued but i'm glad um they brought some of the shades back and it's the shades i like i mean look at the red the pink and the greens in this palette it's absolutely gorgeous just bringing it closer so so beautiful can't wait to dig into this palette absolutely beautiful all right another one i got from them is the nomad uh logo lago di como palette le como palette basically so this is not um a new palette by any means it's definitely an oldie but the color story is just gorgeous these blues and greens oh absolutely gorgeous so this is le como so I also got the um, American Pax palette. I actually duped um, this palette. If you go on my Instagram page, you see the dupe palette I made. At the time the palette was released, I actually wanted to get the ball. The postage, the delivery cost, it was just too much. So I couldn't. So I decided to dupe the palette ball. When it went on sale, and because I was buying more than one, I was able to kind of um, justify the sales and kind of like just go on and buy what was on my wish list. But it's absolutely beautiful honestly i really cannot wait to dig into this 2022 is really gonna be a late year for me using all those palettes honestly i am so excited okay and then finally i got the haunted palette which is the one they came out with um during halloween and it's a nice dark grungy palette oh look at that it's got a mixture of cool tones and warm tones actually but the color story is absolutely beautiful i mean look at this you've got your grays purples and here you've got your warm tones your orange your yellow your green absolutely beautiful i'm definitely hoping i can do a swatch party with all these five palettes um from nomad oh that's all the five palettes i got from nomad okay from colourpop i only got two palettes so i got the scorpio palette because that's my star sign and i got the limon cello palette i remember when they released this i was really hoping that my star sign would be a beautiful one and it is i mean the fact that i can use all the colors and the color story is so so beautiful and it's also red <laughs> so yeah <laughs> that really made my day so yeah i got the scorpio palette just for nostalgia reasons really nothing i mean it's nothing out of the ordinary i mean don't get me wrong they are beautiful shades but it's not really anything out of the ordinary but i just wanted something that was my star sign and that's the scorpio palette and then this is the inside of the limon cello palette Lim Lim limon cello oh, beautiful i don't know how they managed to make a neutral palette so beautiful and attractive but 
I don't know. I don't know what it is about those palettes. It's just gorgeous. I mean, the minute they came out with it, I was so attracted to it. But again, it's one of those ones where you have to wait for yourself, you know, to pick it up. I don't know what is wrong with them. Colourpop these days, the way they calculate a customs rate at the checkout point, they calculate based on the original price as opposed to what you're actually paying for it. So what is the point if you're going to sell things on sale, if you're going to charge us customs based on the original price? Maybe they need somebody to advise them. I don't know, but it's really put me off from purchasing from them. I really have to make some calculations to make sure I'm getting the right thing in order to pay as little customs fee as possible. I think it's just ridiculous. Then I pretty much just chopped up on my brow pencil. So I used two sheets for my brow. So I used um, Banging Brunette from the beginning. Then I used Black and Brown for the edge. So, so each time I have to do my brow, I definitely need two sheets. But this is just basically topping up um, my stash. I think the one purchase I made which was um, outstanding to me was the Styling Wax. Uh, brow Styling Wax. I've never used them in Styling Wax before. I usually get um, gels from their site. This kind of gel pot. But... They were out. I don't know whether they've discontinued it or something, but it was not on their side and I've been looking for a while now. So I had no choice but to go for this styling wax. And it's not bad at all. I'm still getting used um, to the feel and how to use it, but definitely not bad at all. And I bought them all on sale, so <laughs> that can hurt. I also got the Ocos Focus um, lip set. So the lipstick that came with that is called Winnie. And it's just your basic um, brown, reddish kind of um, color. And then the lip liner is called Come We Fly. So that the shade it is it looks very similar to the lipstick as well. Then I also got the lip sticks in Energy Field. And that's what the shade looks like. And then lastly, a lip stick called Sweet Stuff. So that's your basic pinkish. Yeah, not like baby doll pink, but yeah. Definitely beautiful. It's almost, I can see a hint of purple in it. Yeah, but that's um, sweet stuff. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous shade. Okay, moving on to the last brand, and that brand is BH Cosmetics. So I got their final uh, monthly palette. So this is the turquoise for December. <sighs> Just my kind of color story. So absolutely beautiful. This is the last, I've bought the last 11, so they come out with one every month. And this is the final one. This was released on um, sale as well. It went on sale immediately. It was half price when I got it. Um, despite the fact that they had just brought it out. So yeah. Turquoise palette. Most of my purchases from BH Cosmetics are brush sets. 95% of the brushes I use are from BH Cosmetics. Because they're just so affordable. And especially when you get them even on sales as well. It, it just makes sense. It makes sense. It's a no brainer. So most of my brushes are always from BH Cosmetics. So I definitely managed to grab um, a few of their brush sets. And that will definitely last me for the whole year. So I got their travel series. The Sage series. Amalfi. I'd never even heard of seeing this um, until I was um, on the website and doing the sale. And this is what it looks like, which looks very similar to a brush set I have. Yeah, it looks very similar to the Chilling in Chicago. I mean, what's inside? Yeah, <laughs> this is what's inside the Chilling in Chicago and this is what's inside the Amalfi, which looks like exactly the same thing. I think they just change um, the packaging. Yeah, so that's what is inside the Amalfi. Yeah, definitely the same thing. It just changed the packaging, but it doesn't matter because um, I love this. I used this in one of my videos, about three videos. Um, I used, I tested this and they were really beautiful. Actually, it was my PLUE, um tutorial. This are the brushes I used. Well, most of this anyway. So, so beautiful. I also got the Remix um, Dance Floor Brush Set. Oh, peculiar thing about this is the bag. <sighs> Look how beautiful this is. This brush set comes in a bag. This bag alone looks like a party purse. Oh my. So, so beautiful. And then the Poison Shock set, which looks like this. Oh, look at the handles of this brush. So, so beautiful and gorgeous. And so unique as well. The handles are kind of like in prism like. Oh, beautiful. But that's the Poison Shock set. And then lastly, if I haven't missed anything out, this is the High Essential. So these are just basic everyday um, brushes. Yeah, and this is what they look like. So these are pretty much um, what I will use on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, not a particular tedious um, I look. I, I just use this like on a day-to-day -day basis with primer, without primer, whatever. Simple looks and all, but it works for anything really. 
I also got two of their cashmere lip um, cream. It's called cashmere cream comfort lipstick. I've never tried it, but the sense I get is um, something casual. It's not meant to last them um, for a long time. Just something casual, like on a daily basis. So I decided to give this to a try. Okay, on to the palette. Um, the other palette, apart from the monthly um, palette that they release. So I got the last two palettes in the Sage series. I already have the other shades and the other palettes. Um, and these two were the only ones I didn't have. Yeah. So is it looking like a snack palette? Which I did not want to buy when it was on um, full price. Um, it just, it wasn't that, um, how would I say, it wasn't calling to me. <laughs> it wasn't calling to me that much. And then finally the Loki Love You palette. I think it's upside down. Loki Love You. This one is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at that shade right there. <laughs> it's enough to pull me into this palette. It's an absolutely beautiful color story. So if you want to ease yourself into oranges, maybe you are too um, intimidated with orange shades, ah, this would be a perfect palette for that. So, so beautiful. Just think is a perfect color story you know these to darken the edges and you know all the other shades it's, it's just a beautiful color story so these two palettes now complete my collection on the sage series okay and then finally the ones i said i wasn't gonna buy but honestly looking at them every time i look at them on their website or on instagram it was just too good to be missed and it's the poison shock i believe okay poison shock it says poison shock at the back and I got three of them. So I got the Absinthe. So this is the green toned one. Oh, you need to see this in person. Oh, when you look at it from afar, it's so easy to say, oh, I don't need it. I've got the other green palettes. But in person, it is gorgeous. Oh, let me see if I can bring it much closer. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. And I'm so happy that the size of the pans are your usual single shade. So if at all I get bored of it as a palette, I can always depot it. And then of course, I had to get the orange one. This is Scorpion Sting. Oh, look at this. Look at that. How beautiful. The shimmers look so, so metallic. Actually, let me just swatch two shades from the orange one. And three shades. They look so metallic. I mean, look at that so so beautiful and then finally the venom the venom palette which is <laughs> a color story i have no business buying because it's cool tone so these are the kind of shades i don't tend to use as a whole in a palette they will be like accent palette picking one shade here or two shades from this palette but it's so so gorgeous it's all cool tones but the shades are just so so beautiful and <sighs> I really want to try it. I really want to try it. I think for me, what stood out was the shimmers. Not so much the mattes, but the, the shimmers are quite unusual and they are not what you see every day in palettes. Uh, let me bring this closer. Can you see? It's got like, I mean, these shades are like silver, but they are like ranges of silver right there in the middle. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, you don't see those colors every day. You definitely don't see those colors every day. So that was the pull for me. I looked at the palette. I looked at the shade individually as opposed to looking at it collectively as a palette. And yeah, the, the shades just spoke to me. Okay, guys. <laughs> it's been one heck of a recording this video. I don't know how I'm going to edit it, but I'm going to edit it one way or the other. But that is the end of my Black Friday haul. I still have two things I'm expecting from two brands, but I don't think they will come this year. So I'm not holding my hopes up. These are going to have to be 2022 kind of um, purchase. That's the way I see it. Um, I don't see them arriving this year at all. But even if they arrive, I'm not going to have any time to play with them. But these are the ones that have arrived and those are everything I bought them for black friday if you're still here <laughs> i don't know how long this video is gonna be then i am really really grateful that you hang on to this video thank you i appreciate you me thank you for taking time to watch this video i really appreciate you okay that brings us to the end of this video I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me and you've enjoyed um playing with my purchases as i have um, if you've enjoyed this video please like it share it and subscribe to my channel and until next time i'll see you